like my job, driving all day on the Nordschleife in the ring taxi. It's really fun to scare people. They, they love to get scared, so they pay me for that. But it's a good job. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy AD and you're welcome to AD Infotainment. If it's your first time here, kindly hit that subscribe button and tap the bell like icon to get notified whenever we upload another amazing content. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. The Nürburgring, said by experts to be the world's longest, most beautiful, yet most dangerous racetrack. Since the 1930s, racers from all over the world have tried to set new records here. This extraordinary track hosts all kinds of races, for example, the legendary 24-hour race. There's one very special woman among the racers, born in the Eiffel and raised on the ring, the Queen of the Ring, Sabine Schmitz. Sabine Schmitz, a racer to her heart and soul. In 1996 and 1997, she won the classic 24-hour race. Nowadays, she regularly claims a leading or winning position in important races. She's especially proud to be at home at the Nürburgring. There's nothing like it anywhere else in the world. Such a long racetrack with such a rich tradition and legendary background. Take, for example, Caracciola. In the old days, it was unbelievable. I'm proud to live and work here. No one has made more laps on this track than me. Soon I will have completed almost 30,000 laps. That's quite a lot. And of course, I've had my ups and downs. I've won many races and I've also lost many. I've failed and crashed a number of times, but it's all part of the game. All racers have their ups and downs, but if you're heading for the top, you need to demonstrate outstanding skill, especially if you're fighting for the genuine respect of your male colleagues. Sabine has earned an undisputed reputation among her peers. My name is Sabine Schmitz, and the people call me the queen of the ring or the fastest taxi driver in the world. I like my job, driving all day on the Nordschleife in the ring taxi. The motorsport world is mourning the tragic death of female pioneer Sabine Schmitz, who died on Wednesday at age 51. Known as the Queen of the Nürburgring racetrack in Germany, Schmitz died after a three-year battle with cancer. The Nürburgring has lost its most famous female racing driver, the legendary racetrack's official Twitter account wrote on Wednesday. Sabine Schmitz passed away far too early after a long illness. We will miss her and her cheerful nature. Rest in peace Sabine. Fricadelli Racing, the team she founded with husband Klaus Abelin, confirmed the news earlier on Wednesday. Sabine Schmitz passed away yesterday after her brave fight against cancer, a statement read. She was 51 years old. Klaus Abelin and all relatives and friends are deeply saddened by the immeasurable loss. The only female winner of the 24-hour race at Nürburgring. Schmitz also shot to fame via her role on BBC's Top Gear where she first appeared back in 2004. She joined the show as a regular presenter when Chris Evans took over in 2016 following Jeremy Clarkson's exit. Terrible news about Sabine Schmitz. Such a sunny person and so full of beans, Clarkson tweeted. The show's current host Patty McGuinness described Schmitz as an amazing human being. She gave me pointers on how to drive a Ferrari very fast and hunted me down in a banger race, he tweeted. Fast on Brilliantly skates, bonkers and an amazing cool, human being. With the great Sabine Schmidt, fellow presenter Chris Harris added, Rest in peace you wonderful, powerful, hilarious person. Fellow female driver Sophia Forge wrote, Very sad news for motorsport. I can tell you, it's green, it has four wheel drive, and it's very shiny, and the tank is full of sweat. Have a look at it.
Bäuchlein. Und Mama Bäuchlein. Bäuchlein. Ihr Bäuchlein. <lacht> Ja, ja, das ist für mich mit hier. Ja. 